It's early November, the chum salmon are running in the streams near Squamish, and I've just arrived at a spring-fed channel where the chum are spawning. I get comfortable and start to watch. Below me, a female chum is digging her nest, one sweep at a time, where she'll lay her eggs. Her narrow body with its strong, dark, horizontal bar distinguishes her from the larger male beside her. I lower my underwater camera and begin to watch another female chum flick her tail as she digs her nest in the gravel. She disappears into a confusing swarm of other salmon that swirl around her nest. They're all males waiting to fertilize her eggs, but the males are different sizes and have different patterns that are confusing. The big, thick-bodied males with prominent vertical streaks are easy to identify, but there are also smaller males marked with a dark horizontal bar and paler vertical streaks, and at a distance they look somewhat like the female. But all these spawning males, large and small, have something in common, hook-like jaws and large canine teeth that form as the chum leave the ocean and enter the river. With these dog-like teeth, males fight on the spawning grounds for the right to mate with females. Suddenly, a smoke-like cloud appears in the nest. That's got to be male sperm. So the female must have just dropped some eggs. I quietly move the camera forward to the side of the nest. Across the nest, several males hover. The female, slender in comparison, arrives beside the males then moves forward. In a remarkable moment, she bellies to the gravel, gapes, males rush to her side and nothing happens. She swims off. A minute later, she's back. And again, she comes forward. Bellies to the gravel, mouth agape, Males rush in and, oh wow. I am just blown away. I run it back in slow motion to see it again. It all happened so quickly. Oh <laughs> wow. Her eggs flow and immediately they're hit with a shower of sperm from a male. <laughs> and another male comes in under her, likely spraying sperm too. As the cloud clears, she returns again. Flanked by two males, all mouths agape, a cloud of sperm rises above what must be more eggs. Three more times she returns and three more times she lays eggs. Each time, males jockey for position. And then the egg laying is over and she begins to sweep gravel on the eggs. They need to be buried deeply to protect them from stream predators and erosion. Her life's work done, her remaining days few. But with luck, the gravel will be a safe home for her eggs through the winter months to come. And the young salmon that rise from the stream bed will find their way to the sea. And then, years later, return here. And the cycle of life will continue on. <laughs>